analytics reporting with Screaming Frog. So this fun little report ties in Screaming Frog data with Google Analytics. So in a later lesson, we're gonna talk about how to connect Screaming Frog to Google Analytics, really simple to do. Um, in this example, we're just gonna look at the report. So up top, we have an analytics report here. And what we do is we get a page-by-page -page view of the, basically essentially gives us the status code of the page, the title tag, the number of sessions, some other key metrics from Google Analytics, time on site or time on page actually in this particular example, um, the number of sessions, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So we get basic uh, Google Analytics type statistics. The ways that we find this useful, I mean, we obviously could go to Google Analytics and just get this data, but I think the ways that we really find this useful is that um, we can look at a specific page as like a filter for no Google Analytics data. So these would be all different URLs, for example, where we're, we don't have any Google Analytics data coming in. Um, it, there may be a problem, there may not be a problem, uh, but a lot of times, you know, it could be an indicator that a certain page um, is basically just getting no traffic for whatever reason. So while the Screaming Frog spider can find the page, it's just not getting any traffic. So does that mean it's missing the Google Analytics code or does it mean it's just a terribly built page or that the calls to action or navigation to it are just too hard for most people to find? Um, we could look at things with, uh, you know, pages with high bounce rates, um, which we're not seeing anything here now. Um, sessions above zero, obviously, or any pages that have traffic. Um, so some different features. Um, we could, you know, sort by sessions, for example, and look at some of, you know, what, if, what are some of our highest, uh, you know, traffic pages um, and, and that sort of thing. So we have a, just a number of different um, really ways this could be used. Um, generally, we feel that just going to Google Analytics for this data is, uh, you know, a little more ideal. But, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, you can use it as you see fit for sure. And, uh, you know, it's there. Um, again, in later lessons, we will cover how to, you know, make that connection.